Hello friends, today we are discussing thrombotic microangiopathy in children. So what is TMA or thrombotic microangiopathy? TMA is actually a pathologic description characterized by three things. The first one being thrombocytopenia, second one being a maha that is a microangiopathy hemolytic anemia and third being an organ injury, most commonly a kidney injury. It can be other organs like brain, pancreas etc also and heart etc also. And what is the clinical equivalent of a TMA is either a TTP that is a thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura or HUS. So TMA at pathological level can manifest clinically as a TTP or as HUS. TTP is associated with disorders of the Adam TS13 protein. We will be looking at it in detail later. And HUS is usually due to multiple etiologies. We will be looking into detail of HUS also. Now, before going into the description of TMAs, we just will have a recap about complement pathway because this is one of the most important pathway which is having problems when it comes to a childhood TMA or childhood HUS. So, just a recap of what we have learned in our immunology microbiology classes. We know that we have two types of immunity that is an innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Complement pathway is a part of our innate immunity which is one of the primitive immunities. Adaptive immunity is relatively new but innate, innate immunity is a primitive immunity. And this is this pathway is somewhat similar to our coagulation pathway where one step of activation leads to another step and an amplification loop is created like that it works. To keep it very simple, we have basically three complement pathways. First being a classical pathway, second being lectin and third being an alternative pathway. So the classical pathway is usually triggered by antigen antibody complexes and the triggering the, the starting uh, molecule is, is a C1Q, C1R, the C1 is the starting molecule, the complement factor 1. And to take an example pertaining to classical pathway, we know that our common systemic lupus erythematosus is usually by activation of antigen antibody complexes by classical pathway. The next being a lectin pathway, lectin pathway is activated by bacterial products like lipopolysaccharides, mannan specific binding lectin, all these bacterial products activate this pathway. And the key parts of this pathway or if you if you keep the pathway very simple there are two main steps that is the formation of c3 convertase and formation of c5 convertase c5 convertase formation is the last step which leads to the formation of membrane attack complex and the injury or injury and cell lysis etc so the c3 convertase formation is different for the classical lectin and alternative pathway it is similar for classical and lectin pathway where the c3 convertase is c4b c2a whereas for the alternative pathway it's a different c3 convertase that is c3b bb it is called as c3b bb this is the alternative pathway c3 convertase and this is the first step most important step and the next being a C5 converter that is common for both pathways. This is somewhat similar to our uh, coagulation pathway where you have intrinsic pathway, extrinsic pathway and then culminating in the common pathway. So our area of interest is a alternate pathway because this is the most primitive and this pathway is a constitutively active pathway. As we can, as we already saw, the classical pathway is activated by antigen antibody complexes, lectin pathway by microbi microbial products. The alternative pathway is inherently active. It's like a policeman. It's like a watchman or policeman, which is just scrutinizing, just constitutively watching the immune system of the organism to see any threats. So this is a constitutively active pathway. And so in order to prevent excessive injury due to immune activation there are various checkpoints or various checking factors involved in this alternative pathway so when these various checkpoints of the alternative pathway gets 
affected due to various means by genetic or acquired various checkpoints of the alternative pathway gets affected various disorders of hus like disorders appear so this is in nutshell that alternative pathway is more important when it comes to the hemolytic uremic syndrome especially the various checkpoints of the alternative pathway